Is your Pi-hole server telling you it needs updates like this one? Well, today we're going to show you how. The first thing you're going to need to do if this is hosted on Proxmox is maneuver to your Proxmox web interface. You're going to want to select your server or container and then select console. If you're doing this in bare metal, you're going to want to log into the command line of your server and get to a screen that looks like this. Here at the command line, we're going to start the process by entering sudo apt update, and we're going to execute that by hitting enter. Then we're going to enter our sudo password and press enter again. This will update all of our repositories for our server so that we have the most up-to-date applications list. And as you can see, we're going to need to install those up-to-date applications. So once again, we're going to enter sudo apt upgrade. And we're going to finish that with a dash Y to answer the yes question and hit enter, allowing these to install. Now that everything's been upgraded and all the upgrades have been installed, we can go back to our PyHole web interface and we'll actually see the command right here that we need to execute to fix all these update availables. Let's go ahead and copy that command, head back to our web interface in our console view and go ahead and paste this command. We should be able to execute this command without sudo. So let's go ahead and do so by pressing enter and it's gonna automatically ask us for our sudo password. And we can go ahead and enter that and press enter again. Now the update script will execute and we can just let it do its thing. Since the new version of PyHole that we're installing has its own web server, we don't need to use the old web server from version five. So we can go ahead and press enter at this point, selecting yes to disable the old web server. And now that the script is finished, we're returned back to the command line and we can head back to our PyHole web interface and we can press refresh. And we should be presented with a screen that looks like so. And we should be able to use our old password to log in. Now quite a bit has changed since version five to version six. So we can notice it looks quite a bit different, but scrolling all the way down to the bottom, you can see you're on the most up-to-date versions of PyHole. I hope you enjoyed this video and please consider liking, sharing, and subscribing.